It was very gratifying when we came to the end of the job to see that we're approximately two metres long in terms of our new track sets that we made. So we chose to create new ends on the existing track set by chopping that two metres off the, that, that particular track set and was able to slot in within millimetres the last of the new track sets for the replacement job. Next on the task sheet is to revisit the job going back through all the joints and you'll notice that as we laid them there's only two bolts in each joint. We have to go back and uh, make sure they fit correctly and then put four bolts in every joint. Once we finished the job of laying, that's effectively half of the task. We've pre-built the track sets, we've lifted the old ones out, we've replaced those with the new ones. The next three phases is we'll go through and fully ballast using proper railway ballast with our ballast wagons, which we have a generous supply of here on the Glenbrook Vintage Railway.
we'll use our production tamper to correctly line and then tamp lift and line. In other words, lift the track and place it in the correct top and line in order to open it up to normal uh, operational speed here on the Glenbrook Finnish Railway, which is 40 kilometres per hour. Most rail enthusiasts and the general fair paying public don't actually get to see the amount of hard work and graft that went into um, significant replacement of just a small amount of our infrastructure. There was you know, countless days of preparation involved and then finally the, the sort of almost the glamour part, the lifting out of the track sets and the replacement of them. We're very pleased with our handiwork. It's the first chance that we've had to generally use equipment which prior to the extension we didn't have to uh, make this job nice, simple and uh, are very efficient and fingers crossed uh, with the equipment and a plant that we've used it should last us easily another 30 years.